My question is to the Premier. Moments ago, the Toronto Star and the Ottawa Citizen revealed that David Livingston, the former Chief of Staff to Dalton McGuinty, gave access to outsiders to wipe clean 24 hard drives. Ooh, what? Oh. My question to the Premier. Can you confirm to this assembly and to the people of Ontario that one please. of the 24 computers was not that of yours while the co-chair of the Liberal campaign? Bombshell today in Ontario has to do with those natural gas power plants that were cancelled at great cost in the middle of the last election to save some Liberal seats. That's a questionable enough act on its own, spending hundreds of millions, in fact more than a billion dollars, to save a couple of seats. But the cover-up is extraordinary, and now news comes, according to police allegations, that the, the chief of staff to the Premier himself brought in an outsider gave him high-level IT access to wipe clean deleted emails so they could not be recovered. This is the allegation today, and joining us now in studio to talk about it is Sue Ann Levy, a columnist for the Toronto Sun. Great to uh, see you, Sue Ann. Nice to see you, Ezra. You know what? It was a bad decision. It was throwing cash at a couple of seats in the last mm -hmm. election. Mm -hmm. But I guess you could say if they were open about their bad decision, say, yeah, we tried to bribe voters, that's mm -hmm. one thing. But to show this level of alleged deceit, bringing in, sneaking in someone to wipe hard drives clean <laughs> in the middle of the night or whenever, that shows a guilty mind. Well, it does. And, you know, what bothers me as well is that the, all of these players that were named today, Laura Miller, David Livingstone, they appeared before the Justice Committee last summer. Uh, at Queen's Park. And I was there the day Laura Miller, who is the uh, alleged girlfriend of the a young man who was brought in to wipe clean the computers. Um, I was there when she behaved so arrogantly and, you know, and, and thought it was all, the questioning was all a big joke. I know nothing. She reminded me, actually, I said in my column the next day of a Valley Girl, thinking eh, it was all a big joke and I've got one on you. And huh. You know, the I know nothing uh, phraseology, mm -hmm. that's what Kathleen Wynne said today. She mm -hmm. had a hastily yeah. called press conference to talk about this, and she scooted right back in her mm -hmm. office without taking questions from the press. Let's show a minute of Kathleen Wynne's attempted response to this bombshell. Take a look. Since my first day as Premier, I have been committed to getting all the facts out. I promised to open up the government completely and have done so to an unprecedented degree. I have appeared at the committee twice and I have been straightforward and honest in every question that I was asked. We have provided the Justice Committee with more than 326,000 documents. The new measures are consistent with my commitment to openness and to transparency in government, which is exactly what the people of Ontario have every right to expect and what they deserve. She's just brazening it through, isn't she? She has so much chutzpah, it is unbelievable. First of all, today was the day that her panel, uh, another panel that she struck on openness and transparency reported. I thought that was a delicious irony. But, you know, the, the point is that we, we, we were talking offline that she herself has been found to be responsive um, on 3,000 backup tapes that are contained with the Ministry of Government Services. And her name and the gas plants came up on 1,233 emails and she is yet, she talked about 30,000 documents. I would lay you a bet, Ezra, she has not coughed up those emails. And why? Because they're saying that it's going to require so much work that they're going to, uh, the, the opposition parties or the Justice Committee, whomever, or taxpayers, are going to have to pay about $3,500 to cough up this information, which should be public. So, I mean, so she disclosed hundreds of thousands of uh, irrelevant emails, but the yeah. ones with her name and the gas plant on them, they have not released those as yet? As far as I know, no. No, huh. it's just gone under the radar. But this whole, this whole idea of a, a staffer's boyfriend being given high security access to government computers and going in, mm. maybe at night, I don't know, and wiping out 24 <laughs> hard drives mm. that belong to the government and yeah. the people of Ontario. That's out of a movie. It is. It's Watergate, isn't it? Yeah. Kind of well, like Watergate. It's, and, and you're saying that the girlfriend of this, yeah. of this uh, cleanup man, yeah. this janitor brought in to yeah. wipe it, appeared before the committee and obviously didn't refer to this. This is a, this is a no. shocker. No one had ever heard of this before. No. So she had the chutzpah to appear under oath, I take it. Under and oath. laugh mockingly you, you, uh, yeah. 
and obviously not refer to this. Mm. I mean, I wonder, uh, I think her testimony should be reviewed. Yes. Uh, I mean, it's Mr. Possible. Livingston should as well. I think all of their testimony should be reviewed. It's yeah. one thing for them not to answer fully, but if they misled and lied under oath, that's perjury. It is perjury, and that has been brought up already on, on some of the, sh uh, the commentary I've been hearing that, you know, these people appeared. So look at their, uh, you know, look at their testimony. Huh. Here's why this is important. There's the billion-dollar waste mm -hmm. here. And... Listen, governments, I hate to say it, but especially in Ontario, there are billion-dollar scandals almost every month in this province. Mm. It's one of the reasons Ontario is now a have-not province, one of the reasons why Ontario has twice the debt of California. Mm. But, the, but sending in someone to wipe hard drives clean secretly in violation of, of government practices is a whole other level. Well, I've been wa watching governments for a long time, and I don't think I've ever seen a story like this, quite like this, certainly in, in Ontario. And, you know, it, it's the, the whole, um, the secret, it's not just the secrecy, but this is just, I mean, it brings it, the sabotage and, uh, you know, to a whole, a deceit, to a whole different level. I mean, that they actively, actively, and there had to have been a discussion, agreed yeah, to do this. 24 different, 24 different yeah. computers. This wasn't had... done by one person, I guarantee you. There was a group of people, and they had to have plotted to do this. And this shows the Liberal government will maintain their power at all costs and it shows how arrogant they have become over mm -hmm. the years not not just arrogant but corrupt and deceitful yeah. you know I, and that's what worries me is that mm -hmm. Kathleen Wynne went out there and brazened it out mm -hmm. and said I'm so open I'm giving people the openness they want mm -hmm. and then she scurries away without asking questions I am worried Sue Ann, that people that severely normal people who aren't caught up in politics as deeply as you and I are mm -hmm. will watch this and say oh okay Premier really taking responsibility. She's disclosing things now. Let, let's put a little bit of this in perspective. A spotlight on Rob Ford. He's never been charged criminally. Uh, he certainly hasn't blown a billion dollars. Yeah. Uh, gas plants, he hasn't covered up yeah. things to do with his job, maybe his personal life. Let's look at the degree of yeah. attention that has been on him versus yeah. Kathleen Wynne. Yeah, isn't that the truth, eh? Mm. Huh. Well, Sue Ann, I hope you stay on this file. And, uh, and I'm going to look at some of these things you're talking mm. about, these hidden access to information mm. requests, the, the testimony under oath. I think there's a lot here. I think just out of self-respect, mm. Ontarians have to kick these folks to the curb. It's good to see you on the show. This oh, story is just beginning. It's a pleasure. Nice Thanks. to have you.